Welcome to the first game of the SFL Season 10 quarterfinals. Tonight, we'll watch as the number five Houston Hyenas head to Tulsa to take on the number four Desperados. Houston, a team with a long history in the SFL, stumbled out of the gate this season, but turned things around quickly and finished seven and five. Tulsa, their first season in the league, came out firing and won their first eight games in a row. A three-game slide ended in Indy last week, finishing them off with a 9-3 record on the season. Both teams avoided the wildcard round and advanced straight to the quarterfinals. But enough talking. You're here to see a football game. Let's head down to the field and get this thing started. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Greenwood District Stadium in Tulsa, Oklahoma for game one of the SFL Season 10 quarterfinals. You are watching the SFL on Twitch TV presented by APM Music. I am Mike Daggs, your play-by-play -play commentator today. Alongside me in the booth is Hall of Fame candidate, the Bronze Bomber, Matt Wilson. We've got Thrill Hill with us on stats today. Matt, how you doing tonight, partner? I'm doing great. Ready for some SFL playoff action. We've got two top five teams here tonight that have both had really impressive seasons. Houston looked a little lost after a week two shutout, but after some adjustments, they put up over 40 points on the scoreboard in each of weeks three and four. And they ended the season boasting the number four rushing offense and finishing seven and five. Tulsa looked unstoppable, undefeated after eight weeks. Then they dropped three in a row, but they won last week in Indy, finishing nine and three with a stifling defense leading the league in takeaways. I feel like these two teams are very evenly matched. What are you expecting from them both here tonight? Well, Houston's been here before, so they definitely have the coaching experience advantage. They need to keep the ball on the ground and avoid the opportunistic Tulsa defense. Tulsa's a bit of a mystery. Which version of the team will show up tonight? Who will survive and advance to the next round? There's only one way to find out. On the field, Matt. That's how we're going to find out. The winner of tonight's game is going to face the winner of Tallahassee and Indianapolis game that's being played on Monday night. Ball is getting teed up and ready to go. It's a beautiful night for football. Let's go. Kick is underway. We are going here in Tulsa. Ball is taken back at about the 12-yard line, returned up to about the 29, where Tulsa will take over on offense first to get things going here tonight. Tulsa wearing a little bit of lime green, to, or not lime green. It's uh, What color is that, Matt? I just green. drew a blank. It's, it's cyan, I think. Hmm. Power eye formation on first and ten. Ball is handed off to Dion Hawkins. Runs his way up for a gain of about six yards on first down. We'll bring up a second down and looks like five. Hawkins a major part of this offense as well as Murray on the other side. So it's going to be a little bit of a running back duel. Taking a look at the Tulsa Desperados offense. Quarterback Sir Charles Robinson leads the team. Deion Hawkins at running back. Corey Jones is one of the wide receivers. Sanzo Robinson is the other. U.S. Latora is the tight end. Another run for Hawkins on second down. Will bring up a third down and short. I've just been informed Tulsa's wearing teal. Teal, yes, thank you. That it, does, it is teal. It's a beautiful teal. It's a manly teal. Robinson back to throw on third down. Oh, and he's oh. brought down for the sack. Ow. Sacked on the play by Elvis Cooper from the defensive tackle position. Yeah, also the, in on the, that sack, Chad tackle. I was going to say, I think the big Chad was in there. I think they both got half a sack each. Chad tackle, 40 tackles on the season, 16 sacks in the regular season. So there's more like Chad Sackle. Chad Sackle. Get that boy renamed. The punt is away. Houston calling for the fair catch down at the 34-yard line where we will see the Houston offense come onto the field for the first time today, led by quarterback Ahmad Chima. Warren Murray is the running back. Matt, you already mentioned Murray. He had a very impressive season, 1,473 yards, averaging 5.5 per carry as nine touchdowns one of the leading rushers in the league, right up there with your Ray Bentley from Mexico City. Yeah, he's definitely a key part of their offense, and they need to get him going. Shima under center on first down. Quick pass over the middle. Caught. Nice gain into 
Tulsa territory after only one play. Pass caught by DR, the Dr. Sim. Yes, the doctor is making house calls all the way to Tulsa. <laughs> you see Sim spotlighted there. In fact, the entire offense is spotlighted at the top of your screen. Badr Ajelani and Garen Malone are the other receivers on the Houston Hyenas. Chima back to throw. Quick out route to the right-hand side. Caught, and he stays in bounds, oh. breaking a tackle. It looks like he might have stepped out of bounds right around the 22-yard line. That was a good catch. Ajelani is showing some spinorama there. Spinorama? Maybe dizzy. Spinorama, spinorama. Those, those are playoff spins. Take a I look at the Tulsa defense. Uh, Nate Helzep. And Charles Ball are the safeties. Kyler Murray, Jeffrey Dezier at corner, Griffin Brown at defensive tackle, and Espen Rael, the inside linebacker. Short carry, about a carry for a gain of about five by Murray on first down. Brings up a second down and five as we tick inside eight and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, Houston's doing a little bit of everything right now. But yeah, definitely... Keep, keep Murray involved in the game. Murray takes the handoff. Oh, gosh, wrapped up and brought down. Espen Rael on the nice quick tackle right at the line of scrimmage brings up a third down and five. You know, Rael had an amazing season, Matt. 116 tackles, a couple of sacks, and a pick. So he's kind of a jack of all trades. He does it all. And master of some. <laughs> Third down and five. Chima under center hands the ball off to Murray, oh, and he is quickly tackled for a loss. Ouch. Get out the brooms. That man got sweeped. Field goal unit for Houston will come onto the field. Lining up for what will be a about a 38-yard field goal try. The ball is centered right between the hash marks. Kick is up, and it is through. Houston on the board first. 3-0 over Tulsa early on in the first quarter. You are watching the SFL on Twitch TV, presented by APM Music. Follow the SFL on Twitter at SimulationFL on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and Twitch channels. You're already here, right? Might as well stay tuned. Get league updates on your phone while browsing the internet and make sure you never miss a live broadcast. Thank you for supporting the SFL. Up to 60 viewers right now live on Twitch. Let's see if we can get some more people in here. Make sure everybody knows that this game is going on. Call your friends and family. Get them all in here. Tulsa takes back over on offense. 708 here to go in the first quarter. This is playoff football, Matt. This is the real deal tonight. This is some exciting stuff. Let me tell you, I'm at the edge of my seat. That's well, hard to do. So don't don't fall out. I, I, I won't because I can't get up. <laughs> that would be tragic. Power eye formation on first down from the 29-yard line. Robinson hands the ball off to Hawkins, runs up the middle, but he is immediately met by the Houston defense and brought down for what appears to be no gain on the play. Take a look at the Houston defense. It is uh, led by, we've mentioned Chad Tackle in the middle, DJ Majesty and Duke Butley in the outside linebacker positions. At corner, Tyleek Jones and Ryan Michaels. And at safety, Eddie Gage and Blake Chance. Robinson alone in the backfield. Shotgun formation on second down and 10. Three receivers split out wide to the left. Quick pass over the middle for about a gain of five, wrapped up and tackled. Yeah, I think Robinson was spooked because big old Chad Tackle ripped through the line and was about to eat him for breakfast. No, he's maybe already lunch and dinner too. <laughs> he's already Although got. Although I think Chad's a big guy, so maybe just breakfast. <laughs> he's already got one sack on the day. I'm sure he'll be trying to add a couple more on. 16 on the season. I mean, that's averaging over one a game. Very impressive numbers. Robinson to throw on third down and six. Steps up into the pocket, going deep down the middle, and it is picked off. Houston defense returning it back into Tulsa territory. Intercepted by Eddie Gage, his fifth interception on the season. And again, 
Chad Tackle coming through the line, scaring the heck out of uh, Search. Look at him right here. He better get rid of the ball, and I think it forced him into a bad throw. Yeah, he stepped up to try to you know avoid getting sacked again, and then I think probably didn't like the fact that the six foot five, three hundred and twenty pound Chad Tackle was now behind him where he couldn't see what he was doing. Chuck the ball in, yeah. He d- Chad Sackle, Sackle is a scary man. Yeah, that you know, I think we just need to. We're just going to go with it. It's Chad Sackle for the rest of the game. Chima under center. Hands the ball off to Murray on first down and again met right at the line and blown up for no gain. Matt, I don't think running up the middle is working tonight. Uh, no, there's a giant roadblock that says you shall not pass. And neither running back is having too, too much luck so far. Defensive tackle Griffin Brown for Tulsa, six foot five, two hundred and ninety pounds, thirty-four tackles and eight sacks on the season himself. Murray takes the ball on second down and ten, tries to go around the defensive line. That didn't work. Tackled for maybe a gain of one. Third down and nine. Oof. The run game is not working so far, so it's gonna be up to these quarterbacks to kind of loosen them up. Go deep. Or at least medium. Jason, 1347 with 10 bits. I may have missed some other bits. I'm trying to pay attention to a lot of things. Thank you for the bits. Make sure you cheer your bits if you like our broadcast. Chima to throw on third and nine. Has a mad deep diving oh. catch inside the 15-yard line. Stretching out and catching the ball. Garen Malone. Mastradamus lives again, see? I said they had to stretch it, and they stretched it. Well, he stretched every little ounce that he could. 531 yards and four touchdowns on the season for Malone. Adding another big chunk onto the numbers right there. Chima in the gun. First down in Ted inside the red zone. Chima looking under pressure. Throws into the back corner of the end zone. Caught. He is in for the touchdown. Badarajalani with the catch and he gets his feet in. That man has been all, he's had his fingertips all over this game, that spinning catch earlier, and now this great throw by Chima and right at the back corner. I believe he got the one foot in. Should I, be see, good. I see one foot. I think you need two in in the end zone, though. I wouldn't, yeah, we're going to see a challenge well, here. I don't know. He definitely got one foot down in the end zone, I, I believe. But I, when you're, when you're on a scoring play, you, here in the SFL, the way the rules work, one field in the or one foot in the field of play, two in the end zone. I thought it was two in the back of the end zone. We'll we'll find out. We'll we'll see who. There is Catch one. One. Oh, I think he got. Mm, did he get his right close. foot down first? I, I think he did. After review, the play stands. The the play stands. So the touchdown counts. So. Adding insult to injury, not only is Houston now up 9 nothing, presumably 10 nothing here in a moment, but now Tulsa already is down a timeout with four and a half minutes to go in quarter one. It's not where Tulsa wants to be. They, they like to play with a lead so their defense can go grab some interceptions, but now their offense has to really get moving here. Extra point try is up and through. 10 0 Houston over Tulsa here early in this game. The Simulation Football League is presented by APM Music and is the official theme music provider of the SFL. Listen to their Champions Will Rise soundtrack at APMMusic.com today and search through thousands of tracks to boost the quality of your stream just like us. APM Music, Production Music Library, and Custom Music House. Kick return fielded by Charles Ball, Marco Charlton on the tackle. We'll see if the Tulsa offense can get anything going here. So far, not a whole lot to show for their impressive 8-0 start to the season. 
Robinson to throw. Quick pass out to Hawkins on the right side. Has some running room. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another. Gets all the way up to about midfield. That's how you get something going on offense. Yeah, not, that's a designed uh, swing pass to Hawkins, and he made every yard count. I mean, he, let's see, break, yeah, breaks one tackle, breaks two. That's how you get it done. Good blocking by 71. So well. Haw Hawkins had a, a good season as well. We, you know, we highlighted Warren Murray earlier. You know, Hawkins not not quite the stats that Murray has, but pretty decent on his own. Thirteen hundred and forty three yards, four point six per carry, six touchdowns on the season for him. In his obviously first season on Tulsa, coming over from Chicago to get this team going. Robinson heads the ball off to Hawkins again, runs up the middle, gain of about two. We'll bring Timber. up a second down and eight. They might have to go more to the swing game because the running game, it's, there's just too much beef in the middle. Yeah, the running game not really working for either team on, on either side of the field here. Power run formation on second down and eight. Robinson hands the ball off to Hawkins, has a little bit more running room that Ooh. time, gains about four. DJ Majesty said, stop. <laughs> so that's far enough, Hawkins. DJ Majesty looks like a linebacker right. built like a defensive end. Oof. Brings up a third down and four. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Hawkins takes a handoff. He is met by the defense and tackled for no gain on the play, only averaging 2.2 yards per carry so far tonight. Tulsa not airing it out, and I know they had the interception, but, boy, you don't want to get too far behind the eight ball against Houston. So Tulsa's going to have to punt again. They're going to let it bounce down inside the 10, takes it and, oh, and sprints into the back of the end zone for the touchback. Field so awareness sure. minus ten. I, I think you were sharing some of my, you know, tequila earlier. <laughs> you looked I, drunk on that I one. I told you not to go drinking with the players. Sorry. I don't know why it's hard for you to listen, but that's not good to do right before the game because then that that's what happens. The bronze bobber and the bronze boozer. <laughs> First down and ten for the from the twenty yard line. Chima back to pass. Quick throw over the middle and is picked oh. off. That's how you answer back, Tulsa. Get that ball back for your offense. Picked off by Charles Ball. His ninth on the season. And that's what I highlighted before the game. The opportunistic defense right there. That's what they're doing earlier on their winning streak. Just taking the ball and scoring defensively. And they put their offense in a very, very good spot to at least get three points. Tulsa offense takes over on their own, or excuse me, on Houston's 32-yard line. Their obviously best starting field position of the night. Robinson in the gun, flanked by a running back on both sides. Three receiver set. Robinson looking to pass. Has time going deep down the middle, and it's picked uh, off. Nice. That one taken away by Blake Chance. Well, I can't blame um, Chad Tackle on that one. He had all year to just do something, and yeah, he, it, it, I mean, he was only there's only three receivers and there's nobody there. You just got to throw it away or oh. try to shift around in the pocket. Just try to make the defense, you know, shift out of their out of their zones. But right. it, just a disaster. Yeah, it def definitely was. So both safeties for Houston now with a pick. Shima under center on first down, hands the ball off to Murray, runs around the left-hand side, breaks a tackle, and gets his way all the way up to about the 13, 14-yard line. And that's what you like to see when you're right close to that end zone. Gives you some healthy breathing room to run pretty much whatever you want now. So that's really unfortunate for Tulsa to get, get that kind of field position. And on your first play, it's picked off, and just like that, Houston's back in the driver's seat. Murray takes a handoff, hurdles over a man, gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more will bring up a third down and three. I was really surprised that three-man 
front. I thought he was going to bust it out for a lot more than that. Because Tulsa was playing way off the receivers. It, just taking a peek at the chat, it appears that you've incited a drinking game to get started here tonight, Matt. So congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Someone third, did something dumb. Third down and three play action. Oh, he's under pressure and sacked. Oh. Rip. Not at all Keeper. fooled by the play action. Brought down by Kevin Grayson. Sacked get all the that way. Man a wheelchair. <laughs> sacked back at the two yard line, and now Brian Adams is going to be punting out of the very back edge of his end zone. Gets the punt away, but this one's not going to go very far. Oh my gosh! He's fielded at the thirty-eight yard line. Breaks one tackle, Spins. breaks another. Gets it up to the thirty-five. So. I guess not all is lost from that pick. At the end of the day, it cost them three yards, and they've got the yeah. ball back. But they got to do something with it. It's it, you know, yeah. Be safe. Get a field goal. You know, get some momentum on your side because you know, I understand taking risks, but it's a little bit too early for that yet. Yeah, absolutely. So slightly different formation. On this play, still looks like a three-receiver set, but Robinson under center hands the ball off to Hawkins. Spins his way up, breaking a tackle. Oh, oh wrapped oh. around the ankles and tackled at the 23-yard line. I, I thought he was gone, Matt. Brought down That's by Eddie I Gage. Got, I got interrupted. You. I got too excited. I thought he was going to make one of the greatest runs I've ever seen in the SFL. He almost did. <laughs> nice look at that. Right there, spin. And I'm like, oh, he's gone. Oh, no. He was showing a little power and a little bit of agility there. You know. Eddie Gage. Put his life preserver on and said, nope, no further. <laughs> Two receivers set to the left. Robinson to throw on first down and 10 under pressure, and he goes down with the sack. Hawkins giveth, Robinson taketh away. <laughs> Carter Haley just running he's, around the entire deep offensive line there. Yeah, somebody needs to tell that O line that he's got. They're supposed to block, actually. Maybe, maybe they didn't know. Wasn't their fault. That's the end of the first quarter. Houston Hyenas ten, Tulsa Desperados nothing. You are watching the SFL on Twitch TV, presented by APM Music. And just like that, we have a quarter in the books, Matt. Whew. Seems like it was just two seconds ago we started this game. I think, I think the pregame was longer than the actual first quarter. <laughs> I think it might have been. Trips formation out to the left for Robinson. Back to pass in second and 16, oh, and he is brought down again. The O-line just not coming to play tonight. Chad Sackle with another sack. Robinson needs to read the Matt Wilson school of how not to get sacked because... <laughs> You need to step up in the pocket, son, and get rid of that ball. Well, there, there's either extra receivers or a lot of extra blockers in on this third down and 21 play. Robinson alone in the backfield. It's going deep down the middle. Has a man oh. all the way inside the five-yard line. Third down and 21. Who cares? Just chuck it to Sanzo Robinson. Well, Robinson giveth. <laughs> Robinson to Robinson. Deep Mr. post Robinson. route. Look at that. I think we're in Mr. Robinson's neighborhood. <laughs> Got there we are in Tulsa, you know. <laughs> this is true. Robinson getting back past the safeties. and Just like that, first and goal. Third and 21 to first and goal, Matt. That's how you change the script. It's a possible momentum shifter. It definitely is. Nice Hawkins lined up behind great. Robinson, takes a handoff, runs up the middle, spins. Oh, fighting his oh. way and can't get in. Good on Houston for not somebody else trying to climb on his back and throw him into the end zone because that could have happened easily. I talk about bend but don't break. I think, I mean, the tackler was literally bending back as Hawkins is pushing him, and he finally is able to push him down. Eddie, Eddie Gage wrapped him up. I'm calling a swing right here. They're all bunched up. Perfect time. Straight up the middle, untouched almost all the way in, and he's in for the touchdown. Deion Hawkins says, I'm not done yet. Oh, look. No, that's frightening. Don't stab me, bro. I'm glad that's in the end zone and not near our broadcast booth. Don't fear the Reaper. 
you know, Mike, it always seems like we end up in the most dangerous stadiums. We've we've had some close calls this season, Matt. We've done quite a few broadcasts together. I mean, we almost have froze to death. We've almost been shot by missiles. We've almost been burned. Uh, We were stampeded by cows. There was a shark attack. Um, The SFL definitely... uh, No, no, this is a Grim Reaper. Extra point is up and through. 10-7 here early in the second quarter. So this game's still uh, very much alive. Yeah, that possible momentum shifter was a momentum shifter. It, yeah, it definitely did shift. It definitely shifted the momentum. But yeah, you know that's that's one of the things I love about the SFL, Matt. All the different unique stadiums that we have. Uh, um, yeah, we're we're off. back. <laughs> Somebody, I, I'm sorry, I hit the lights. <laughs> I I told you to sit still. Matt is so excited right now, everybody. He's he's I'm juiced, boys. He's, I'm he's juiced. juiced. He's jumping around in the booth. I watch out for the switch. Kick return brought back up to the 25-yard line. Houston will take over on offense and try to answer Tulsa's score. Yes, the power SF- did go out for a second. That was, that was SFL crazy. playoff football. It's so exciting, it'll knock out your power. Take the power right out of you. Ahmed Chima back to the line. In the gun, flanked by Warren Murray. Three receiver set. Chima to throw on first down. Quick pass over the middle. Has a man caught all the way up to the 46-yard line. The doctor, D.R. Sim. Hall of Fame candidate for a good reason. Steven at large donating five bits to help pay the electric bill. Thank you, Steven. Any more bits for the electric bill would be appreciated. Yeah, if, if anybody could cheer some bits for the electric bill, I really don't want that to happen again. That was... I got scared, just to let you know. He's First, afraid of the dark, folks. I, I am. It's terrifying, and I didn't bring a flashlight with me. I thought we'd be okay. First down and 10 from the 44-yard line. Chima back to throw again. Another quick pass over the middle, this time Oof. caught by Garen Malone. First down. I think he got first down yardage. I think he's short by one. Second down in inches is the call. Yep. Yeah. Houston responding right back. They're trying to get in the field goal range at least. Steven gave us another 15 bits, Matt. Thanks, Steven. Murray gets the inches oh. and more, running for about a gain of five up to the 40-yard line. And Houston keeping this drive alive. They're marching back down the field and already started to knock on the door. Someone said they were expecting the Undertaker after the lights went out. Well, we already have the Grim Reaper, so why not? First down and 10. Three receivers split out to the left, one to the right. Chima will throw again, not really using Murray a whole lot here. Caught for a gain of about six. That was Willie Mays Hayes, one of the backup receivers on this team. You don't really see him a whole lot when uh, when you have three star receivers like Batter Ajelani, Garen Malone, and DR Sim. He runs like Hayes, but does he catch like Mays? We'll find out. Hey, all right, so I, I'm not going to be able to keep up with Steven. He just keeps cheering bits. So he's got another 100. Thank you, Steven. Murray gets the first down, spinning his way up to the 30-yard line. I think we might have enough for the power bill. At least for the first quarter. <laughs> At least. The second quarter. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the first quarter's done. Maybe that's why the lights went out. Right. Tick down to about seven minutes to go here in the first half. Four receiver set. Chima under center. Murray lined up directly behind him. Look at the defensive set for Tulsa. Matt all up on the line and press coverage. Murray takes the handoff, runs over to the right side, jukes a man, breaks a tackle. Another ankle tackle there. Murray doesn't care about your press coverage. He's still going to get seven. He's been, you know, they've been mix, mixing up the pass and the run pretty well, I have to say, on this particular drive. And it's been slow, methodical, but, you know, like us in Mexico City, that's what we prefer. Second down and three, Chima under center. Hands the ball off to Murray. <laughs> Untouched, yeah. runs right up the middle, has blockers Ow. in front, 10-5. Oh, tackled oh. at the one. Uh, they ran towards the two tight end set, and it set up perfectly. 
if we get a replay here, you'll see the two tight ends, his seal. Look at that seal. I mean, he's, he's got, got a convoy. Look at that, I was going to say, he's got a convoy out there. One man to beat. Almost Oof. was in. Nate Helslep with the touchdown saving tackle. Heslep. I think I'm saying that right. If you're not, well, let us know. They'll yell at us. And then we'll turn off the lights again. Chima under center. Looks like they're at the two. Hands the ball off to Murray. Runs their own left side. Oh. Tackled right back at the line of scrimmage. We'll bring up a second and goal. Got too cute there running the counter. And the Dasperado defense swarmed to the Chima. Or Murray. Gosh. You know, I get those two confused sometimes. I don't know why, but... Ball is handed off, runs straight up the middle, and this time he gets in for the touchdown. That's how you're supposed to do it. Just give it to your power back, let him go right through the middle. No trickery, just some good old-fashioned line-on-line action. Yep, didn't have to do much. So Houston extends the lead. Assuming this extra point is good, they'll be once again ahead by 10, but still just a two-score game and all sorts of time left. Extra point is up and through. Houston 17, Tulsa 7. You are watching the SFL on Twitch TV, presented by APM Music. Don't miss the SFL podcast every Saturday night at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern on Twitch before the league's weekend slate get kicked off. Join me, Mighty RX, defending champion team owner Ramos Slim, and our host, Jack Brown, to break down all the headlines in the SFL. Jack, yeah, I know we gotta move on. Calm down. See you there, everybody. Charles Ball, nice return all the way up to about the 39-yard line. You know, Matt, Charles Ball has two kick returns for a touchdown this season, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see that come into play here, you know, later today. I mean, we, you and I have called several games now where one team looks like they might be totally out of it, and then all of a sudden, boom, big special teams play, and they're right back in it. I think your son had one. Yeah, he did. Robinson with a little swing pass out to Whoa. Hawkins. Avoids a man, avoids Whoa. another spinning. The whirling dervish all the way past midfield. I think that's Tulsa's best player right there. So Just far, that, I that, think that so. Little, that little swing pass to, pass to Hawkins, and that man looking like Barry Sanders. Like there, There's a juke and a spin and a juke and a spin. And break it's hard to back. keep up with. No. He's got the Contra code or something. I don't know. He's the human Contra code. <laughs> got all the moves Robinson under center on first down Robinson back to throw out route to the right hand side oh. complete but then he uh, falls to the ground and slides out of bounds Sanzo Robinson second down and four a little bit of an overthrow if he throws that on in stride he turns the corner there and probably gets about 13 yards but you know Positive yards or positive yards, especially on first down. Sanzo Robinson, a, a free agent acquisition by this team. This is one of the, uh, I believe it actually might be the only expansion team this season that did not have uh, an all-rookie squad. Sanzo Robinson coming to this team from Baltimore. He's currently their leading receiver. He, he led the, uh, the season in yards for Tulsa with 905, five touchdowns. The other... Uh, primary receiver Corey Jones close he had 897 yards and actually eight touchdowns so the two of them very evenly matched stole my thunder <laughs> I was going to say he was a former crab Hawkins running over oh, to the boy. left hand side avoiding everybody somehow nobody could even get a finger on him all the way up to the 15 yard line the one man offense Just get Hawkins the ball, and you can keep on gaining yards. Eddie Gage saves another play. But 
Brings up a first down and 10 inside the red zone as we are inside four minutes to go here in the first half. Trips formation out to the right. Robinson to throw. Quick pass over the middle. Dangerous, and it's almost intercepted. That would have been a killer. It was, oh, yeah, almost picked off. Oof. That was those who... Doing, doing, doing. So close to get so far away. That's why they play defense, folks. I think the whole Houston secondary got their hands on it. Well, most yeah, of the and, secondary and, got their hands on it. Eddie Gage got his face on it. <laughs> he just kind of oh. like, he th I think he thought he was playing soccer. He just kind of headbutted the ball back up into the air. Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> See, nobody knew they were going to get a song out of you tonight. Just wait till the fourth quarter. Second down and 10. From the 15-yard line, Robinson changing the play at the line. Robinson back to throw. Swing pass out to the side. That no. time it's read perfectly. Hawkins tackled for a loss on the play. DJ Majesty in the backfield for the tackle. I'm telling you, Majesty must play DE in a past life. You know, that man is built like a brick house. Yes, a, a brick house. No other word needed in the middle. Robinson in the gun. Three receivers out to the right. Robinson to throw out route. And he catches it and he gets... Oh, no. I don't think he got it. I think he ran out of bounds. I think I think he caught it, but no, he stepped he out of bounds just shy of the sticks. Fourth down oh, and man. one. This is a tough one. You got Hawkins. It's tempting to go for it, but I think Tulsa's going to play it safe and say, hey... We're only going to be down one possession. We'll take it. It's a long one, so yeah, I definitely yeah. agree with this call. K. Joseph Carroll on for the field goal try. 27-29 on the regular season. Kick is up, and it's good. 17-10 here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Looks like they'll be keeping it close all night, Matt, like we started off at the beginning of this broadcast saying. I mean, these two teams are very evenly matched. They kind of took different <laughs> different paths to get here. You know, Tulsa started out red hot 8-0 after week 8. You know, Houston scored no points in their second game, zero. They got shut out. And then in week 3, they scored over 40. And in week 4, they scored over, scored over 40. I mean, an instant turnaround. And, Sounds like know, somebody got some coordinator got fired. <laughs> Someone got fired after week two. No, I, I, I remember. I actually remember talking to uh, the coach back after after week four when I was commenting about you know wow what a turnaround you know your first two games you don't really score much but week two you don't score anything at all and you know weeks three and four you you, you score a combined eighty points and you know he said that they were trying something a little different during the first couple of weeks and then went back to what they knew from last season that was working for them and you know, it worked and here they are in the playoffs out route on the left hand side to DR Sim caught for a gain of we'll say eight, seven second down and seven. three hey, yep just a little out nice easy catch for the doc he's been doing that for about 78 years. <laughs> well, exactly. I don't think he's quite that old. Ryan Michaels on the tackle. In league years, he's that, that old. <laughs> oh, it's, it's there's there's such thing as, as league years. Is it kind of like dog years then? Yeah, your cat years, correct. Chima changing the play at the line. Three receiver set. <laughs> oh! Hawkins will not be, or Murray will not be denied getting that first. Correction, that was Kyler Murray on the tackle. Not Ryan Michaels. That's the two-minute warning. Playoff football all weekend this weekend. Matt, we got another game coming up next right after this one. We'll take Easter Sunday off. Chima back to throw, out route to the right-hand side, caught by Batter Angelani. He's out of bounds after a gain of five on the play. Nice of those Desperados to slow him down. I might not have been so kind. Oh. 
Hashima with 132 yards and a touchdown on the day. Passer rating of 112.5. That's certainly what you like to see. Chima with a great season, 3,130 yards, 66% completion percentage, 24 touchdowns to 20 picks. Oh, and he's hit as he oh, throws. He Somehow it's caught. Not quite sure. Hey, he did. He got first down yardage. Well, Garen Malone Houston holds it in. Houston on this drive, just barely getting enough for the first, but that's all you need. Tulsa's defense needs some. Um, Need something to go right for him. A pick. Pick six would be great. But, yeah. Ball is handed off to Murray. Fights his way up just past midfield. Second down and seven. Time's tick, tick, ticking away, but I think Houston likes this. They can at least at minimum kick a field goal and not give Tulsa another chance to even get their hands on the ball. Yeah, and they still have all three timeouts and over a minute to go. So, I mean... Depending on what happens in these next couple plays, we'll see if they start going uh, to hurry up. Deep pass over the middle. Oh, tipped, tipped again, oh. and incomplete. Pass intended for DR Sim, and a couple of Tulsa defenders get their hands on it, but neither one can haul it in. Uh, Kyler Murray almost had it, but he had to kind of reach back and couldn't quite snag it. Crowd here in Tulsa on their feet. Cheering for their defense to make a stop. See if the Tulsa offense can get the ball back. Third down and seven. Chima back to throw. Quick pass over the middle. Has a man wide open. Caught. 10-5. Touchdown. Better Ajolani. That man has had his fingertips all over this game, like I said before. <laughs> That's his second touchdown catch of the, the day, I believe. It sure is. His first one was that uh, that one footer that got challenged. He was. I hear Stevens was in too. Somebody always used to say that. Nah, he even was even though out. he was obviously out. Obviously. Extra point try forthcoming, and Houston will have a two-score lead. Kick is up. And it's through 24 to 10. Houston over Tulsa here. 42 seconds to go. Oh, hi, Andy. <laughs> Love you, Andy. Andy Hamilton joining us tonight in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to have you here, Andy. And all the rest of you, too. Currently at 71 viewers. Kick taken back at the 10-yard line. Returned all the way up to the 30. Ball still oh, going. I shouldn't oh. call him down yet. He was still running. He got up to about the 32. I'm I'm telling you, man, I'm feeling it. Charles Ball's taking one to the house tonight. They right when Tulsa's going to look like they're on the rope, suddenly Ball's going to bust through and get a 95-yard kick return for a touchdown. Wait for it. That's a bold prediction. We'll find out, I guess. On the field. <laughs> on the field. Hmm. So Robinson looks like he's going to come out slinging it here. 40 seconds to go. Don't forget they, they burned a timeout on a challenge earlier. Robinson, deep pass down the left side. Has a man past the defense inside the 20. 10. Oh. First down and goal, and they burn a timeout. Corey Jones with the catch. Houston in press coverage. Usually that's an a recipe for disaster if I'm a deep play. I mean, oof. Yep. Looks like he's playing man and just got roasted. That's the old Tallahassee Pride special right there. Got to play back on those, uh, you know, a little bit more prevent these short situations. You know they're going to throw the ball. Uh, if, yeah, I mean, when there's 40 seconds left and they have two timeouts and they're backed up to about their own 30-yard line, you, you can't play press. you got to play some sort of deep zone, a cover three, you know, something where you're going to be able to have the back of that that field even, covered. Even the... Even, Deep man, deep man with a, a deep man, yeah, sure. Zone. Anything other than press. First down and ten. Robinson to throw. Steps back. Oh, and he oh. throws an interception. DJ Majesty, his first interception on the season. Sure about that? <laughs> oh, 
Looks like That's he's a just <laughs> looks like he's just playing defensive back. Spinning some tunes. <laughs> Spinning some picks. Oh, that's painful after that huge play and down by two scores trying to get back, make it a one-score game and to throw a pick when you have first and goal. Swing pass out to the left to Warren Murray. Gains about five. Clock is ticking and nobody will stop it. That might bring us to halftime. Bold prediction, Cotton. Steven at large says that was almost the James Harrison Super Bowl INT touchdown before the half. Yeah, I would have loved to see the big man rumbling down the field for the touchdown. And yes, Matt, I double-checked my stats. DJ Majesty, no picks on the season. Murray runs straight up the middle. They oh, got to no. tackle him. <laughs> Houston trying to run the clock out, and Murray's like, don't mind if I try to score, but that does bring us to halftime. Your score, Houston Hyenas, 24, Tulsa Desperados, 10. Murray trying to make a last-second play there. So we will take a brief break for halftime. We will be back in just a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. I will make a comment. Well, that was a faster halftime than we expected, Matt, but hey, we're back. My tacos are still in the microwave. <laughs> Dark, us commentators got to eat, you know. There we, Well, yeah. Not tonight. It's playoff time, Matt. There's no time for tacos. Especially microwave tacos. Kick taken back at the goal line. And it's fumbled. Oh, no. Ball still bouncing around. People everywhere. It looks like, I believe, Tulsa recovered. Tulsa got it. Holy shnikes. There's no time for tacos, Matt. There's a fumble. Well, somebody in the chat says there's always time for tacos, but there's not I, right I, now. It's It's playoff football. Boom, that ball's loose, and then everyone and their mom tried to get the ball, and I think somebody, maybe their mom actually did get the ball. Everybody was on the field. So just like that, another possible momentum shifter, Tulsa, kicks the ball off to start the second half, and they get the ball at the Houston 20. Robinson back to throw. Pass over to the right-hand side, complete. Gain of about nine on the play. We'll bring up a second down and one. Well, but they get a touchdown here. Look out below and above. Yeah, man, other people are with me on that one. AJ Pick 6 says, microwave tacos. What the heck is that? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm sure somebody could deliver us tacos. Ball handed off, runs up the middle. No gain on the play. Third down in inches. Mexico City, you know, we have them at every corner stop, but <laughs> for Tulsa, Tulsa tacos, I'd rather just bring my own and eat them. <laughs> I, I, I have to disrespect the Tulsa tacos. 74 yards for Hawkins in the first half and a touchdown averaging 5.3 a carry. Not a bad game for him so far. Takes the ball here, gets first down yard, and breaking a tackle, rumbling through another man up to the five-yard line, first down and goal. It's where things get dicey now here. About at the five yard line. So what do you what are you gonna do here? You gonna run it three times? You gonna throw on first, try to throw the D off, a little out route action, a little swing on don't know. Power eye formation here on Oh, oh. runs right through and crushes him. Elvis Cooper with a tackle for a loss. Getting some taco hate from the Tulsa fans. Listen, it's not my fault I live in Mexico City, okay? You're Americanized tacos. Hassan Rael, taco trucks in Tulsa are life. 
Matt, after the game, we're going down and trying to find one of those taco trucks. I hope they're open late. Hawkins takes uh -oh. the handoff, runs over to the right-hand side, and gets his head taken off. Tyleek Jones with the vicious hit. Like I said, this is the weird part of the field. You're kind of on the five, so you kind of want to run the ball, but now I think you have to throw. Unfortunately, the defense kind of knows that, so got to get something sneaky up your sleeve here. Third down and goal. Robinson back to pass. Oh, shovel pass up the middle to Hawkins, oh, and he's in for the he's touchdown. Going. Didn't I say he had to get sneaky? They, <laughs> they busted out the shovel pass. <laughs> they were sneaky. Oh, the Grim ah. Reaper again. Sorry. <laughs> Look out like, below. Like, unlike Blue Oyster Cult, I do fear the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, love yeah. that play. Oh, just, Quick little shovel just, pass, and somehow Hawkins gets out of the grip of Chad Sackle. Chad, Chad Sackle. DR Sim not pleased in the chat, but don't worry, DR, you're getting the ball back. Make sure to download the score stream app to receive live scoring updates from the SFL. It's the league's official live scoring partner where you can cheer, chat, and most importantly, stay up to date on all of the fast paced action. Extra point is up and through, and we are back at it with a one score ball game, Matt. 24 to 17, Houston over Tulsa. You're watching the SFL on Twitch TV, presented by APM Music. Want to do what I do? Contact me in the DM on Discord to find out how you can get involved with streaming live games, calling games, or breaking them down on the air with our broadcast team. Or help make our production even better by joining our new live stats team, helping our broadcasters shine brighter. We are hashtag loading legends in the SFL. Ryan Michaels returns the ball up to the 27-yard line. Yep, that's actually Ryan Michaels this time. <laughs> the man formerly known as. <laughs> nope, it's legit him. Ahmad Chima leads his offense back out onto the field. I expect we'll see another healthy dose of Warren Murray. Murray with 14 carries, 54 yards, and a touchdown in the first half. Chima having a good day. 12 completions on 14 attempts, 185 yards for a pass rating of 128.57. Murray well, with the handoff on first down, and he gains about 10 just like that. Also playing a lot of 34 defense here. Three DTs and not four, and I think Murray is very happy to have one less DT to try to bring him down. Those linebackers don't quite tackle this well. Maybe unless you're DJ Majesty. Andy Hamilton of the Vancouver Legion calling out in the chat for people to join the stats team. It's a huge benefit to us broadcasters if we have a stats guy like we have Thrill Hill tonight. First down yardage on that pass to Warren Murray. That's kind of been the Houston offense besides the big plays. that They just drive, they just barely get the first, barely get the first, lull you to sleep, and then, wow, touchdown. As long as it ends in points, I don't think they care about how they're doing it, right? No, they're milking the clock like a farmer and a cow. <laughs> Chima back to pass deep down the middle. Oh, He's no. got a man caught. Gary Malone inside the red zone tackled at about the 15-yard line. Well, didn't I say it? Lull you to sleep and then boom. Just like that to get a big play. Double, no, it wasn't a double move. It was just a post route. I was, and then he just, I was expecting the double move, too. Went for the ball, went for the swat, and missed everything. Jeffrey Desir trying to make a play on the ball. I wonder who invented the post route, Matt. I don't know. I hear it was a man called John Q. <laughs> John Q. Postington, I believe, invented the post route. Chima back to pass, throws it over to the left-hand side to fullback Mike Allen. Oh. Tackled for a loss of one. Never good to throw for negative yardage, but it happens sometimes, especially when you're trying to get a little too creative maybe in getting your fullback involved in the passing game behind the line of scrimmage. I have to say it, he ain't no trucky stack. <laughs> Matt, a uh, big fan of Trucky Steck, a fullback on another team. Offhand, I don't even remember where he's from. Chima back to pass on second and 11. Oh, 
Corner out, deflected, batted away. Jeffrey Dezirin on the coverage didn't get beat that time. Yeah, I thought he might turn around and pick that ball. Why well, wouldn't that have been a momentum shift? He picks it and runs it for a touchdown. That's the Tulsa defense I remember early in the season. Well, right. Tulsa does lead the league. They're actually tied with San Francisco, but they did you know, sit tied together there in that number one spot for the most takeaways with 31. Trips formation in the left-hand side. Chima back to pass. Under pressure, chucks it down to Murray, who is now also tackled behind the line. Fourth down and 12. Pardon me, was the tacos talking? Yes, they're going the wrong way. But at least they get points out of this, and now they can make it a two-possession game again. Field goal unit on for the kick. 34-yard attempt. Kick is up and through. Houston extends their lead. When you pay your kicker minimum wage, you always hold your breath after every kick. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> you just you just don't know when you when you go a little cheap on the kicker talent. As I you mentioned earlier, on the Tulsa side of the, of the uh, bench, uh, kicker K. Joseph Carroll, twenty-seven to twenty-nine. He's one of the most accurate kickers still active in the league. Contract Which, kicker feels good, man. Yeah, it could also come in, come into play here. Here we go. Here's oh, Charles no. Ball. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be striking gold. Gets it up to about the 40-yard line. That wouldn't have been 95 yards. It would have been 90, but it, I'll, I'll take it. You just struck dirt. Sorry. I, I struck dirt. That Five is, minutes, 29 is. seconds to go here in the third quarter. Houston still with a nice 10-point lead, but Tulsa back on the field going to try to get some more points, get this game back within a one-score matchup. Sir Charles Robinson back to pass. Finds a man open on the out route on the right-hand side. Gets it up to about the 48-yard line. We second down and one. The old doctor doesn't quite have uh, Deion Hawkins spin. Excuse me, Miller. <laughs> yeah, that's Marcel Miller, one of the backup receivers on the Tulsa Desperados. Robinson under center for second down and one. Ball is handed off to Hawkins. Trucks his way up through past midfield. Running over DJ Majesty. First down yardage. That's a that's a good matchup there. Majesty against Hawkins. They both had their bright spots in this game. You know, and Tulsa was leading the league with turnover differential for quite a while during the season two. They've fallen down quite a bit since then. Hawkins takes the handoff, breaks the tackle, breaks another oh, one geez. past the 40, inside the 30, spins his oh. way up to the 29. He's finally tackled by Ryan Michaels. I, I would say what a horrible play call, and so was Hawkins, but he still got away. Somehow Chad Sackle ended up halfway down the field too. Look at that, breaks a tackle there. Little stutter step there, and then yeah, Chad Tackle the chasing him down. <laughs> Oof. Helping Michaels bring him down inside the 30 yard line. Nice Chad run might for need Hawkins. some oxygen after that. I saw him. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to need an oxygen tank. That's not good. We'll just strap it on his back. He'll keep playing. So, what I was getting at is uh, one, of, one of the, I think, defining points in this game, or just stats to look at three picks for Sir Charles Robinson. It's not really what you typically see out of this team is more more giveaways than takeaways. Hawkins running. Oh, oh no, Hawkins oh, no, fumbles. fumbles. Houston dives on it and recovers it. the ball. Oh, man. Every time Houston get this is what I was just talking about. Every time Houston starts getting downfield in scoring position, they've either thrown a pick or now they just fumbled it away. You mean Tulsa? Yeah, that's the one. Ah. Uh. You can't shoot yourself in the foot so many times in the SFL and expect to come out a victor. It's not over yet for sure. Long way to go, but they got to get that under control. They got to get that back. Absolutely. I mean, we still have just under four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Only a two-score ball game, but Warren Murray running over the right-hand side oh, trying no. to make 
Something a little more out of that one. Breaks a tackle inside the 40. Still going. Yeah, All the way down loose. to the 30 yard line. I think he trucked over each person on the defense on that play. And now he's talking smack. <laughs> well, after a run like that, I think you can. Sit down, son. Get, Get out of the son. way. Sit Move down, it. Son. <laughs> he actually oh, never even got tackled. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, that just flipped the field position. Uh, slightly, yeah. First Tulsa down needs more and ten. On the line. Yeah, they're playing way far off, and this is probably going to be a run. No, I was wrong. Chima back to pass, going deep down the middle, complete. Oh. There's the doctor, Matt. First down and goal for Houston. Took off his coat and caught a ball. Pressure was coming, but Chima able to get the pass away. They called the Arson the doctor, but what is he a doctor of? He's a doctor of football. Hmm. PhD in route running. A PhD in catching. Let's see if he's got a PhD in touchdowns. Chima in the gun, three receivers set. Chima to throw. Out route to the right hand side, complete to Garen Malone. Steps out of bounds. Going to bring up a second down and goal from about the four yard line. Tulsa needs to hold strong here. They need to get their goal line set out and just say, okay, we're stopping Murray. Beat us through the air. Critical for the Tulsa defense to try to hold them at. They, you know, we really want to see if they can only allow three points on this one. Ten-point ball game. Thirteen-point ball game is a lot better than a 17-point ball game. Their safety is still playing way back to my liking. Chima back to pass. Swing route to the left-hand side. Warren Murray catches it. And his momentum carries his way out of bounds. I'll talk about a tale of two cities. There's a tale of two quarterbacks. Three picks instead of one pick. That's a big difference in this ball game. Three picks and two fumbles. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, definitely a, a game-changing sort of turnover differential, and not what we're used to seeing out of Tulsa. Chima. Out route, right side, caught. Gary Malone walks in untouched for the touchdown. That looked way too easy. There's Malone again. The doctor's the big decoy, and Malone's just been all over the place. Maybe that's what he's a doctor in. He's a doctor in decoys. Yes, he's a doctor in... Well, Stephen at large says he's an orthopedic hand surgeon. Maybe that's why his hands are so good. He like operated on himself and gave himself like <laughs> he gave himself octopus super hands. hands. <laughs> Octo hands. Maybe that's why he's number eight zero. Hmm. Conspiracies. <laughs> Extra point is up and through. You're watching the SFL on Twitch TV, presented by APM Music. Join the world's fastest growing sim football community by jumping onto our Discord server. Use the Discord command in chat to keep up with schedules, news, notes, announcements, and polls. Jump off the sidelines and into the action here where we're loading legends at the SFL. Charles Ball getting it up past oh, the no. 40 again. <laughs> I'm Stop telling you. Us, Charles. Is, is, is anyone else feeling this? I'm telling you, he's taken one to the house. He gives, every time he gets further and further, closer and closer to the end zone, all he had to do was break that one ankle tackle, and he was gone. Right here. Breaks that. He's got a blocker. See you later. Now they got to try to do it the hard way. Backup receiver Brad Jordan on that touchdown saving tackle. Yeah, I think if he had gotten out of that one ankle grab, he would have been gone. <laughs> Stephen Alarch says, dangerous to go to commercial with Charles Ball returning it. I will not do that again. I swear. Robinson to throw. Oh, no oh, one is picked no. off again. Returning it up inside the 30, convoy. all the way inside the 25-yard line. Picked off by Tyleek Jones. Houston is just running the show tonight. That's 
pass was not the greatest I've seen in my career. Just a little short. And Jones was like, yep, I'll take that. And don't, don't mind if I do. Four interceptions for Sir Charles Robinson. The queen might be disappointed. <laughs> she's she's going to take the sir back. I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> the man is family. <laughs> Chima hands the ball off to Murray, tries to bounce his way out to the left, and he can't do it. Tackled for a loss of one on the play, brings up a second down and 11. I was saying at the top of the broadcast which Tulsa is going to show up. Well, in the second half, we've seen the losing Tulsa team show up, the turnover-prone yeah. Tulsa team. We need the pick-six Tulsa team to show up real soon. We need the Tulsa from weeks one through eight. Oh. Murray spins, Jeez. avoids one tackle, then trucks his way through his second. Decent gain on the play. He brings up a third down and a manageable six yards. I will say we've seen some very excellent runs by both running backs, both out of the... Uh, Traditional run sets and off the screen game. They just refuse to lose. Desperado fans making as much noise to help their defense as they can. Third down and six from the 20 yard line. Chima changes the play at the line. Back to throw. Quick out route to the left hand side. The doctor catches it and goes back to the 20 where he's tackled. Well, look on the bright side, Talsley. He held him to a field goal. So. You never know. He might miss it. It's definitely possible. Yeah, as you mentioned, you know Tulsa with the superstar kicker J K Joseph Carroll on their side. Houston with David Griffin, not quite the talent level of Carroll. This one a 36-yard try. Kick is up, and it's good. 34-20. Excuse me, 37-17. Hashtag math is hard. Hashtag normal dags math. <laughs> no doubt. Straight down the middle. And we will not cut to commercial because here it comes, Matt. Charles you're calling Paul, your back shot to return. Like Babe Ruth, you're calling your shot. This, this is, is it. it. Going. This is it. Charles Ball waiting for this kick. Griffin kicks it away. Call Ball like standing back at the 10-yard line. Convoy in front of him. Spins his way up to the 30, and I was wrong again. A thousand bits from Bill Curtis, 86. Is that Thank Chris you. Curtis's brother? <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if there's a relation. A thousand bits either way. We'll definitely be able to keep the lights on now. But any future bits will be appreciated for future games because, you know... We need to get the lights on for the rest of the playoffs. <laughs> Stephen at large says, now I should have gone to commercial. I, I can't win. Ball is handed off to Hawkins, fighting his way up for a gain of about eight yards up to the 38-yard line. Hawkins finally passing the 100-yard mark on the day. He's been one of the few bright spots for Tulsa. You know, he's done the most of what he's been given. But Tulsa kind of has to open it up. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Your score, Houston Hyenas 37, Tulsa Desperados 17. They can come back. It's not over yet. Listwit says the announcer jinxed Ball on the return. I probably did. I take Good it job. all back. Ball will never get another kick return touchdown today. It won't happen. Wink, wink. Robinson to throw on second down and three. He has all day, avoids the sack, oh. and then gets wrapped up and sacked. Chad Sackle with another sack. I had flashbacks of old Rob Johnson for the Bills just sitting back there. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> throw it, Rob. Throw it for the love of God. <laughs> throw it to someone. Can't be passive now. Robinson alone in the backfield. Steps over to the right-hand oh, side no. and back-to-back -back sacks. Chris Jacks on the sack that time. He actually teamed up with Chad Tackle for the sack on the last play. 
oh, as a quarterback, you hate to see that kind of thing happen. And that just kills your drive. And Tulsa is going to have to punt it away. We'll step away for 45 seconds. We'll be back. SFL fans, make sure you order your custom SFL merchandise from the league store on simulationfl.net. Just click the shop button through the site navigation where you can order what you see or exactly what you want. This is your league. This is your shop. Order now from Richards Printworks on sfl.net. Chima leads the offense back out onto the field, back to throw on first down, pass over the middle, tipped and incomplete. In and out of the hands of the aforementioned Charles Ball. Oh, come on, Tulsa. That would have been an ideal time for Ball to get a pick. He had eight during the regular season, 86 tackles and a sack to go along with it. It's a heck of a season for sure. Not to mention the two kick returns for a touchdown. I would really expect at this point with the 20-point lead to see a heavier dose of Murray, but we're going to see another throw. That one incomplete. Oh. In out of the hands of Batter Anjelani. I've been noticing that um, Houston's run trips to the left or right, and then Tulsa's playing way, way back. So they run that out route, and it's just there's no one there. Sometimes you've got to play. You got to know when to play off, and you got to know when to play just a little bit closer, a little more medium. Chima to throw. Oh, and the pass oh. is once again broken up, and the Tulsa defense is able to hold on. Ah, oh, Hill just couldn't quite bring it down. Willie Mays Hayes, the intended target. And just like that, Tulsa's going to get a chance to get the ball back, Matt. I'm kind of surprised to see that. I, I mean, again, a 20-point lead. I, I would have really expected to see Warren Murray carry the ball, but we saw pass, 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 and it just didn't work. Yep, and no time really run off. Great. Tulsa trying to block that punt, just barely missed it. Ball fields it at the 20, breaks the first tackle, can't break the second, gets it up to about the 23-yard line. All right, Tulsa, where's your best deep out? Got to run something, deep post, deep out. And we've seen some big plays uh, from them, but you know, now's, now's the time where we, we definitely need them. And, I mean, we had that deep pass to Corey Jones right before the end of the first half, but then they threw a pick. Ball is handed off to Hawkins, trying to break a tackle. He gets through. He makes his way all the way up to about the 29-yard line. Hawkins with over 100 yards as well, both of them having a great day. Yeah, I just imagine what this game would be like without those four picks. Yeah, the, the four Hawkins, picks and Hawkins the lost and, fumble. Hawkins and Murray have played pretty identically, so a little bit better quarterback play out of Tulsa, and this game could be a one or two score affair instead of where we're at now. Ball is handed off to Hawkins and second down and three, that time going for no gain. Third down and three, and you know, we saw Houston come out and throw it three times, and now we've seen Tulsa come out and run it twice. Tulsa's hmm. probably the one that should be throwing it. Yeah, possibly. I they're trying to play it safe, but I mean you can't. It's the playoffs. It's, There's yeah. no going home. No, that, well, that's it. It's, it's, it's win or go home. So Robinson to throw. Pump fakes. Nice, easy completion over the middle for first down yardage. Probably a safe play there. Dumps it down to his fullback. What if that fullback had dropped the ball? I think Tulsa's heads would have exploded. Tulsa really doesn't seem to have a lot of medium stuff. It's either deep or short. Robinson under center. Split backs. Hands the ball off to Hawkins. Tries to get through the middle. Can't do it. Second down and nine. Eight minutes to go here in our ball game. Second 
still at 67 viewers. Sitting here, Flossin, Listwitz, Cape Saint, Halifax Raptor. A lot of people down there in the chat. Appreciate everybody joining us for this game tonight. Third down and three for Tulsa. The clock keeps on ticking. They've really got to get something going here. Yeah, I don't mind that play if it was to Hawkins, but they threw it to Marshall, and yeah. that Buff man ain't... Buffalo Marshall, not, Matt. That's Buffalo Marshall, the fullback. Good, good for him, but he's not juking <laughs> or power through in anybody. So this is a really important third and three. Robinson to pass. Quick throw over the middle. Oh, behind Ooh. his target. Sanzo Robinson intended on that pass, and it's incomplete. Where was that one going? Holy crap. It was way behind Robinson. Just a bit outside. Billy Perry on to punt. And I know it's, I mean, it's fourth down and three. What do you think, Matt? Would you go for this? I mean, it's kind of desperation time. Yeah, that's the playoffs. I, I, would, I would do a lot of weird things, and that's the playoffs. You gotta, you gotta go <laughs> well, you do a lot of weird things on a regular basis. Shh, we'll talk about that. Oh, oh, oh. Ryan Michaels breaks two tackles, breaks three. Oh, oh now he's surrounded oh, by the entire Tulsa special teams unit, not breaking another one. He ran some clock, though. Chima and company back out onto the field to try to run some more time off this clock. Tulsa I defense think... looking like they desperately want to take this ball away. Yeah, the Desperados desperately need a pick here. And they did so good with intercepting the ball in the regular season, but we're going to see, I think, now that heavy dose of Murray that we were expecting earlier. Second down to nine after that one-yard gain. But Nate, Nate Heslip, he had eight interceptions. Charles Ball, he had eight interceptions. You know, both of them, the safeties for Tulsa. The corners... Kyler Murray and Jeffrey Desir at five and four interceptions each. And heck, even Espen Rial, the linebacker, had an interception. So, I mean, it's definitely something they know how to do, but it's been Houston all day today getting the picks. Murray takes the catch for about a loss of one. But it runs the clock. I think that's the bigger issue right now is I don't think Houston has to score again. I think if they run enough clock, it's over. So Tulsa needs to manage this clock well. And they got to get aggressive. This the next drive is like just every down. The punter does not exist, guys. Chima to pass on third down and 10. Chucks it down to Murray. Can't break the tackle. Well, that's been the difference. You see Chima, the pocket collapsing. He does not take the sack. Yeah. He, gets, he dumps it down to Murray, and yeah, the, it's a punt, but they didn't lose five yards. Brian Adams on to punt for the Hyenas. Charles Ball back to return. I ain't going to say anything about what Ball could do here. Low snap. Fielded good by the punter. Kicks it away to Ball. Takes it at the 28-yard line. And it looks like that will be where Sir Charles Robinson, Hawkins, and friends take back over five minutes to go i think it's score a touchdown now or you're in serious serious trouble time for the desperados to channel their inner mascot and rob a bank or something <laughs> rob rob the hyena defense i don't know they need to just get moving yeah this is the formation i like to see now just watch out for tackle Robinson alone in the backfield to pass, going deep down the right-hand side, and it is oh, picked geez. off. His fifth interception on the day, that one hauled in by Tyleek Jones. His second of the game. Seven interceptions during the regular season for Jones, two today. Double move, but, uh, yeah, that ball was didn't have enough zip. Five minutes to go. Uh, there's some argument on the Tulsa sideline. They're getting a little bit, yeah, feisty. Murray takes oh, no. a handoff, spins through, gains 15 Jeez. yards on first down. 
Matt Houston's just been in the driver's seat all day long. You see that stop and go move by Murray? He's like, oh, I'm going to wait for things to set up. Oh, there I go. Le'Veon Bell style. <laughs> Murray, an absolute beast during the regular season, just shy of 1,500 yards. I mean, he, he's, he averaged 15, or excuse me, 15.5. He averaged 5.5 per carry during the regular season. And anytime you can have a back that can gain more than half the yards that you need for a first down every time he touches the ball, that's that's a winning back. Oh, a Madden math. Boom. Two carries is a first down. <laughs> Chima hands the ball off to Murray again. Doesn't gain anything that time. In fact, he goes the wrong way. Nate Heslep in the backfield. Excuse me, that was uh, not Nate Heslep. It was Kevin Grayson. Tackle for a loss on the play. Boy, the SFL playoffs are so so serious that uh, somebody's leaving their wife. Well, that's not good. Or maybe she's leaving him alone. But you yeah. know. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think they were uh, announcing a divorce in the chat, man. I, but you never know. SFL is serious business. Pay, pay attention to the field. Second down and 13 from the 27-yard line. Murray with the handoff. Oh, jeez. Blown up we right at the lift, line of scrimmage. We have liftoff. Oh, that's DR Sim. Hmm, the hyenas are more important than his wife. SFL secrets. <laughs> This is playoff football, Matt. Some things are just going to have to wait. Till tonight. This game is this game is live. You can't hit pause. Chima and the gun, third down and 13 as they tick the clock away inside three and a half minutes. Chima to throw deep down oh, the left-hand side. Oh. And he catches it for the touchdown. D.R. Sim. There's the house call from the doctor. If that guy doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame, I don't know who does. Chima throwing an absolute strike to the corner. And DR Sim just outreaching that poor, poor corner. Kyler, Kyler Murray. Murray, he tried his best, but it just wasn't good enough. Yeah, he's awkward positioning. He had to kind of jump and turn back to the left and try to swat it down with his arm, but... Sim had all the positioning on that one. You may need to call the doctor for some hand work. You know, I can always use a better grip on the ball. <laughs> Just better come out when I throw it, you know. No, he would sabotage me. Extra point is up and through. This one just a little out of hand at this point. 44 to 17 Houston over Tulsa. Make sure you download the score stream app. You want to receive all the live scoring updates from the SFL. It's the league's official live scoring partner where you can cheer, chat, and most importantly, you can stay up to date on all the fast-paced action. Here in the playoffs, from this point on, we'll only have one game going on at a time. But hey, if you can't keep an eye on the game because you're out and about, you can always keep up to date with score stream. Never hang miss a moment the, of the action. Hang out with the wife. Yeah, if you got to hang out with the wife and she won't let you watch your game, you can at least get some push notification updates from the score stream app. Charles Ball with the return. I fear I may have been wrong in my prediction. You jinxed him. How could I, you? Well, the commentator curse. I should I should remember to just sit here quietly and just say what I see and not what I think. Yeah. I don't do that. <laughs> okay. No one never. Robinson back to pass on first down. Out route to the right hand side. Caught. And he takes it out of bounds, Sanzo Robinson, with a three-yard gain. I mean, look at these stats. They're almost flipped as far as touchdowns to interceptions. If those were more even, um, yeah, it might be a different game. But we're getting to oof, rough times. I'm sure the backups are in for Houston now, so everyone's just taking a nice siesta. Split backs for the Desperados. Robinson to pass. Throws over the left hand side. Has a man complete. Stepping out of bounds. Corey Jones. So they're getting small chunks of yards and keeping the clock stopped. I mean, I, it's probably too little too late, but hey, we've seen crazier things. Listen, if I see the backups in, I just say go. Everyone go. I'm going to throw as far as I can. Catch <laughs> the ball score. You may okay. as well, right? I mean, if, if all looks lost, then just air it out. Especially against the backups, like you said. 
Robinson to pass. Swing route to Hawkins. He's tackled for a loss on the play. I think even Hawkins is like, well, how much I could do. Offense hurries back to the line. Robinson passes over the middle, has a man complete for the first down past midfield. Corey Jones, get back to the line, Corey Jones. He was celebrating. You gotta, you gotta hurry up. Robinson to throw again hits Jones over the middle. Jones a little bit more sense of urgency this time as he hustles back to the line. Yeah. Swing route to Hawkins catches it, spins his way up to the twenty-seven yard line. That will bring us to the two-minute warning. See how this one wraps up here in Tulsa. Hyena's running away with it so far. You know, several people in chat are talking about it, and I was going to make the point is that despite this loss, I mean, Tulsa had a great season for uh, an expansion team. Hello. Yeah, absolutely. Making the playoffs. I, I mean, to start off 8 0, be right up there in the conversation with Tallahassee most of the season. Deep pass over the middle, complete Touch. for a late. Touchdown. Hauled in by Uis Latora. The tight end. But for the team to, to, to go 8-0, uh, I mean, that's, that's a tall order in of itself for any team. But for an expansion team to do that, right out of the gate is is impressive and they did have a three game slide after that but then they won their last game nine and three for your inaugural season in the league that alone is something to to be proud of to be in this playoff game you, you weren't even a wild card team you made it right to the quarterfinals you know great job by the head coach great job by the coordinators general managers everybody that's associated with the desperados to put a team together that was not only able to compete but was able to win and win a lot, and, and they yeah. led in categories. That you know, to be leading in takeaways is is an impressive feat by anybody. You know, they'll come in next season, make some adjustments, and you know, a lot of teams that second year, boy, look out. They they know where they uh, need to improve, and it should be a force for years to come. Onside kick goes deep, and I believe was recovered by Tulsa, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not sure who grabbed that one. I think it was Tulsa. A big bounce nice. in and out of the hands. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Picked it up. <laughs> it's one of the backup free safeties, Lane Freeman, jumped right on that ball, and Robinson back out onto the field. I mean, it's it is still 20 points with a minute 48 to go, but chuck it again deep. It may, maybe we're not done. Three receivers out to the left-hand side. Robinson to pass. Going deep down the left-hand side. Tipped. Oh. oh, I was hoping he'd catch it off that tip. Corey Jones, the intended target. Blake Chance in coverage Charles, on that play. Charles Robinson has just been a little off all game long. I mean, just inch to the left and inch to the right. And these are scores or catches. But, ooh, looks like... Uh, Corey Jones on that cut slipped a little bit. That might have affected that timing route. Could have, yeah. You know, and with Blake Chance back in there, it looks like Houston Houston might have said, you know what, maybe the backup shouldn't be in quite yet. St Steven, stop stealing my puns and my tacos. <laughs> Taco Here about we, a comeback. Save it for your game with Cam. <laughs> this is my game. Rob, Rob, okay, man. Robinson making a change at the line. Quick out route to the left-hand side. Complete. But he falls down in bounds. He does get out of bounds. Corey Jones gains a couple of yards. Third down, third down and six. Ah, Steven knows I love him. It's like brotherly love. <laughs> Sir Charles Robinson strutting his way back up to the line. Shotgun formation. Five receivers set. Third down and six. Robinson to throw. Oh, steps oh. up into the pocket and gets sacked. And Tulsa is forced to burn one of their timeouts. I think the starters are back as he chat tackle on friends. Yeah. That's never a good, hasn't been a good sign for, oh, geez, chat tackle just ate 
an offensive lineman and almost rolled into – look at this. He almost <laughs> rolls into Sir Charles Ruffin. Chad Sackle making a tackle. Hmm. Maybe he's back to being tackle again. I guess he could be. We got we to cap the night with a tackle. <laughs> Fourth down and 11, so it basically all comes down to this. Robinson in the gun with a three-receiver set to the right-hand side, one to the left. Robinson to throw, going deep down the right side, tipped and incomplete. And Houston will take over on downs. Even I'm a little agitated on that one, man. You got to get that second effort in. The pass was short, though. Yeah. Oh, Robinson, the intended target. I and mean, look at this. If he hits him on the dot, it, arms oh. extended, he might go into the end zone. But it was just, it's it's just been that kind of day for poor Robinson. But he's he's a young man too, and you know I, I I was horrible my first season. Heck, we only won three games. He's doing better than me. Yeah, and now you're a Hall of Fame candidate. Won the championship last year. Nope. Back in the playoffs, you got a game on Monday night. Hashtag vote Wilson. <laughs> vote for Matt. Subliminal messaging. Tulsa takes their second time out. Coming up next, stay right here on Twitch as the number six Queen City Corsairs head to Sioux Falls to take on the number three Sparrows that starts at 8 p.m. Central Time. Were the commentators that game? Is that my boy Ramos? Ramos, Lynn, and Alvin Washington. I think Ramos got some game. tacos too. Well, that's because Ramos actually has time to sit down and eat tacos right now, or as we're up here working. No halftime. You know, your microwave burrito or whatever couldn't get heated up. It's probably no, for the best. We it, both it, have food poisoning if we ate it that. Was, it was in a cooler. It was from Mexico. I would just have to nuke it to warm it back up. Calm down. I, I think I saw things crawling out of it. Oh, shh. There's no cockroaches in Mexico, I swear. <laughs> I think they were little worms. Tomorrow it's Easter Sunday, so we're going to take a break from SFL playoff action, but Monday night it's back on. Come back to Twitch, 6 p.m. Central. You can watch the number nine Indianapolis Red Devils head to Tallahassee as they try to do what no one else could do this season, defeat the number one pride. Then stick around for 8 p.m. Central time to watch the number seven Mexico City Aztecs led by Matthew Wilson, the bronze bomber, yeah, as they well, face I'm off good. against the number two Alaska Storm. Don't forget a guy named Ray Bentley. And the Ray Bentley, yeah, I, I hear he might be on the team too. 100 bits from Jason, 1347. Thank you for that. As Houston punts it back to Tulsa. So Houston looking absolutely primed, putting up 44 points. The The winner of this game faces off against the winner of that Indianapolis and Tallahassee game. You know, And both of those teams did a great job this season. Indianapolis, another expansion team that you know had a good season. I mean, they, they made the wild card round and then won, and now they're going up against Tallahassee. But, you know... It, Assuming that, yeah, say Tallahassee wins that game. I mean, Houston showing what they have done here today. I think they'd be in excellent shape to go up against the Red Devils or even up against Tallahassee. Yes, if Chad Tackle keeps sacking the quarterback, definitely. Ooh. Deep pass down the middle for Robinson, complete up to the 33-yard line. They will hurry back to the line as we tick away 30 seconds to go. 1,100 bits from PB and Jotter. Hmm. I could go for a PB and J. Well, I could too. We didn't get our tacos. Oh, we're gonna have to talk to somebody about this abridged halftime. I think it's the commissioner's fault. I wasn't gonna blame him. He'll yell at me. Oh. So let it be noted, Matt was the one complaining. So we see Chad, Chad tackle on the screen, getting ready to make one final play in this playoff game. Robinson back to throw. Deep pass over the middle, tipped and oh. incomplete. In and out of the hands of Sanzo Robinson. Out of sync, out of sync, out of sync. Even when they get their hands on the balls, they don't, they don't catch them. Oh. Just tell us to pick the worst time to have probably one of their worst offensive performances of the year. And, mm -hmm. and you know, credit to the Houston defense, especially early on in the game. But some of these plays have been makeable. They just, they just been just a little off. 
the trash car t- says that sums up the entire game. It really does. I mean, that's that's just what's been happening. Robinson steps up into the pocket, throws it to absolutely nobody. Oh. Remember, I said Houston had the coaching advantage in the playoffs, and I think that some of that's come to bear as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Houston's been around forever, and uh, you know, just has that experience. You know, in Tulsa, it's just still a learning process for them. But you know, like we've been saying, great season by them, and kudos to them for making it as far as they did with the record that they did. Hold that head up high and go into the next season, come out firing again. Robinson to throw, steps up into the pocket. Complete to the left-hand side. Corey Jones out of bounds. First down they yardage. Will, they will not vanish into the night. They will not give up without a fight. They got that reverse. I don't know. <laughs> Some, Independence Day. They're somebody's been LeBron. watching Independence Day. Yeah. It's a great, great movie. It not, is, not really. Sequel. It's a classic. Not, not, no, the not, sequel, not the sequel, not so much. Not so much. They tried too hard, and it just it didn't work. Not only do you get football commentary, but movie reviews at the same time. <laughs> only it's... on the Mac and the Matt and Mike show. What? Why is it not the Mike and Matt show? Because I'm more important. I'm the <laughs> Hall of Fame candidate. <laughs> this is true. I'm a nobody. Intercepted oh, again no. by the Houston defense. They're not done playing. They're trying to show everybody that they might be facing. Watch out, Indy. Watch out, Tallahassee. Houston's coming for you. They're coming for your balls. Absolutely. They've been picking them off all day. The doctor's been operating on all the hands. Apparently. Because even the defense is catching like their wide receivers. So a fun weekend of, of playoff action this weekend. Next weekend is the semifinals. You know, be sure to come back and watch. We've got to see Houston as they face off against either Indy or Tallahassee. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see him go up against either one of those teams. It would be quite a fight to watch Houston versus Tallahassee, but you know, Indy's Indy's a competitor too. They're not just going to vanish either. Your final score in this one: Houston 44, Tulsa 24. Great game, Houston. Great game, Tulsa. Next weekend, we'll also have either Queen City or Sioux Falls as they face off against either Mexico City or Alaska. No matter how things shake out, any of those matchups are going to be a must-watch. This has been a presentation of the SFL presented by APM Music. Matt, it's been a great season. This is our last game, calling it for Season 10. We'll be back in Season 11. Thank unless you for, we get canceled. Unless, unless we get canceled. Yeah, it depends on the, how the voting goes. But thank you for everybody uh, joining us throughout the season and in tonight's game. We appreciate you participating in the chat and feedback that we get after the games from time to time and the bits, and the, bits. the bits mean a lot too but it's uh it's an absolute pleasure to be able to present these games to you and we're happy to be able to do it and we're happy that you enjoy them and if you don't enjoy them don't be afraid to tell us what we can do better i'm always willing to learn and adapt and change and i promise i'll work on my math this off season so maybe i can actually get these yard lines correct matt any I'll- final thoughts in this one I'm staying the same, so I don't care what the feedback is. <laughs> well, but no, okay. I, I, I guess give I, feedback I, it, to me. Forget Matt. It, it's been very enjoyable. And, you know, you won't hear from me until next season, but I'll see everyone at the convention who's going to be there and looking forward to hopefully possibly going into the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. A, a, a ton to me. That, that would that would be awesome. And, you know, for, for anybody that's on the fence of going to the convention or not, if it means anything to you at all, Matt and I will both be there. And, you know, we'll give out high fives. and Well, I'll give out high fives. Matt will yeah. just stare at you and tell you to go away in some sort of grouchy, curmudgeon sort of way that he that he does. But, Stay away from know. my tacos. Yeah, well, yeah, hey, bring Matt a taco, and I'm sure he will be more than happy to, like, sign an autograph or uh, who knows. Maybe he'll even, like, Stamp an autograph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll give you a stamp, and that way you can just stamp footballs and mini helmets and everything. So... But yeah, absolutely. If, you, if you're planning on going to the convention, I'll be there. Matt will be there. It'll be great. It'll be a good time to see everybody. And you know, well, Stephen at large is canceling his convention tickets apparently because we will be there. So that's that, that's pretty... a plus. <laughs> so look at that, folks. The convention just got even better. Thank you very much to Thrill Hill on stats tonight. If you 
are still looking for a way to get more involved in the league, especially if you're a rookie and you can't manage to find your way onto a team or a free agent that's thinking, you know what, I don't want to play next year, but I'd still like to be part of the SFL, join the stats team. Contact Amy, Andy Hamilton on Discord. Really helps us out when we have those guys on stats. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. For Matt Wilson and Thrill Hill, I am Mike Daggs saying good night, everybody.